Okay, this is the TIFF 4000A electronic sight glass again. Normally I don't, I don't use it. I won't go through and take the battery off. I've got the battery connected up again. These clamp on the high side and it detects whether you have a solid column of refrigerant. Now just to test this, I'll turn this on. There's no physical connection between these two. If I physically connect these together, ultrasonic goes between one to the other. What this does is it injects ultrasonic. It's got a transducer and a detector. It doesn't matter which way this goes on there. So when this is clamped on to the 3 8 inch uh, liquid line and you have a solid column of refrigerant it looks like that. So what you do is you put these on the refrigerant line, turn the unit on, then you add refrigerant until it looks like this. And so these LEDs are just giving a visual uh, look of, of actually bubbles is what this is. So that would be solid, like this solid bubbles. And when you have no bubbles, usually will beep once a second like and the instructions on this are over here turn this off this is for a capillary tube system over here and this is for an expansion valve system. See there's TXV. And here's one that you've got a capillary tube. So I normally use this on one with an expansion valve. And here's the liquid line. I'll zoom in here. Let's get this a little bit better. Got the expansion valve and its bulb. Here's the compressor. Compressor heats up the fluid, goes in the condenser. Got the hot gas, condenses into a liquid. This is the high pressure liquid side. And so that's where these two sensors clamp on. Got once per second means no bubbles, full system. Occasional beeps, partial full, continuous beeps means a cloud of bubbles. This unit's probably from about 20, 25 years ago. I've used this a long time. It actually works really well. And these were made by TIFF. And at one time I had a battery crowed, so I'll always leave the battery out and kind of keep spare in here the foam's kind of disintegrated but never had any issues with this thing just clamp it on liquid line it doesn't matter uh, I usually have them anywhere from two to six inches apart it doesn't matter which way they go it's kind of a simple and dumb system and you can use something like this along with a regular set of gauges uh, with temperature probes, go ahead and measure the uh, subcooling, which is what you normally use on a TXV system. So a lot of times I use my set of testos and go ahead and use uh, measure the temperature and be measuring the pressure, and it calculates the subcooling, which is how much it's brought down below the saturation point. And I also use this as just a telltale. And the third thing I'll use is I'll go through and use uh, snap on uh, current probe to measure the current to the compressor because at least in the compressors I have once they start to get filled up to where they need to be uh, one of my compressors will go from about say 16 amps up to about 21 to 22 
when the subcooling is just right and when it's got no bubbles and I've got my target subcooling of I think it's around around 12 to 15 uh, degrees subcooling on mine when it's a full system and then the current goes up too so if I go out there and snap on my probe and the current is 15 amps I don't even have to put the gauges on I know I'm kind of low on fluid you got to find a leak and then mine sometimes happens just on the stupid uh, Schrader core areas and so that's always an issue I fool around with but this is the TIFF electronic sight glass kind of a cool retro device never had any issues with it had it for about 25 years